What is up, everybody? We are back to part two. We just finished part one. That's right, I'm filming these back to back. Not really a good showing uh, with one Jordan Love, a Mahomes, and some Eason in there. We're gonna hope for better out of the second half of our Dollar Tree hanger. This is another 24 packs. Like I said, nothing too crazy. It is empty now, and I do like to use these. Uh, it comes with a hanger. You can hang it on your wall. I used to use it for when I did breaks. I would uh, put sleeves and stuff in them so I could just quick grab them off the wall, and it worked out wonderfully when I did those for you guys. So we're gonna hope the second half here is much, much better than the first, because the first half was just awful, if we're being honest. We're hoping all the luck is here in the back. Starting with the DJ Shark. Nothing so far. Yellow borders keep on coming, but like I said, this is a big set. Odds of pulling that yellow border of Burrow or Herbert or Tua is pretty low. And there's a Kelsey. I actually had a coworker here the other day who's not a big football fan. Told me he met Kelsey and turned down tickets to a game, but said Kelsey was a very nice guy, which I thought was very cool. Nate. Stanley, we're getting quarterback yellows, but we're just not getting those right guys. And it is one exclusive press proof yellow per pack on average, which just literally means it's one. It's one all the time. Montez Sweat, there's a Tua. It's not looking good for Tua right now. I'm still pulling his rated rookies out. They're going for a couple bucks. I might throw up a two a lot before the uh, season starts. But it's just, it's not looking good for him. You got a Lamar on the back of this one. Devin DuVernay. There's a Lamar. I did um, buy into some Lamar. I got a rated rookie nine from this set of him. Of course, his rookie year, 2019, if I recall correctly. Uh, bought a Prism rookie of his and a Prism rookie jersey of his. So I'm hopeful. Yellow in this one is Marlon Davidson. And we continue the trend of getting multiple rookies a pack, but not the guys we want. And I don't even know if these Kid Reporter cards are good anymore. I used to show these in videos. Yeah, they are no longer good. Otherwise, I'd just give them out to you guys. Metcalf. Nope. 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 And this big, big stack. It's five cards per pack. It's 48. That's 240 cards in a box is not gonna be fun to put into my 5,000 counts this weekend, that's for sure. Damien Williams. So far the hit of this break has been the Tua, which is not that great. Julio. Jake Lutton, I think again. I do have another one of these coming. I honestly, I bought one and then I submitted an offer on another. I might just resell it or sell the packs individually to try to make some money back because this has been very rough. Very rough indeed. And I honestly forgot these existed for a while because I hadn't done one in so long and every time I went to a Dollar Tree in search of cards, they wouldn't have any. I'd call or I'd stop in and they wouldn't, they'd have the little packs that like companies would put together, but you knew they were all garbage, you know, just random common cards, nothing of value. Kind of like these packs right now. I really want one Herbert. In my mind, even though one Herbert does not equate to how much I spent, okay, yellow border Tua. That is actually far better than what I expected. Um, I would still take that in a heartbeat. Got a Marino on the back. Yellow of Corey, is that Litton? Littleton. Jonathan Taylor, rookie. He's not bad. Probably getting down to about our last 10 packs here. Kittle, Hilton, Sam Darnold. I did buy some of his rookie stuff this season too because it was quite cheap. Some Prism rookie jersey cards for like five bucks a pop. Prism is the right move if you're going for rookies. We see that time and time again. Michael Pittman Jr. yellow. And honestly, it's just what seems to hold the most value, that and optic for Panini. Josh Allen, ugh, again, the wrong quarterback. 
we've got six packs. I thought about looking into some Josh Allen, and I thought about looking into some Tannehill, and I did not pull the trigger on either. I think they're good players. I think, oh wow, that's, <laughs> well, you know, same guys. Uh, I just think that he's, they're, neither of them are the right guys for me to feel confident about. Lamar, I can feel confident about. Mahomes, I always try to pick up Mahomes. I can feel confident about him. We've got four packs left, so I've definitely gotten a lot of Mahomes in the offseason. And by a lot, I mean like five to ten, hoping for more for the season hits and the values go way up and go crazy again. And then I sent off some cards to SGC. Um, I did another card of my relative. I did Steph Curry rookie, Brady rookie, multiple... Mahomes rookies. Nope. Two more packs. So, nothing extreme, but I did send it to CSG. First time doing CSG. And they're cheaper and they're quicker than PSG or PSA, who's doing like $200 a pop right now. Hoping that, you know, everybody will quit sending them stuff, but it's not working. Last pack. And simply put, that was very rough. Not a single Burrow, not a single Herbert. We get one love and two Tuas. And that is the back end of our box. Definitely not worth it if you guys are gonna go and try to buy these online. Uh, you may be able to get them in store and flip them on eBay pretty easily for, you know, three bucks a pack plus shipping. Um, that might be what I do when my other one comes in. And I'll probably make 10 bucks doing that if I sell them for $3 a pop. And that's not including fees, where I probably just end up losing money anyway. But that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't make the same mistake I did. Like, subscribe, and watch out for these boxes out there because they can be a little bit of fun to open. But as we learned tonight, not always. Thanks, guys. And I will talk to you all later.